I know, I'm gonna fix it. I'm gonna fix it, Opie, I promise, okay? Have trust in Dad, I'm gonna make everything better, okay? Good morning, everyone. Eric here from Nomadic Fanatic. Dealing with some difficulties with tail in the shot, and uh, also technology, man. Technology is awesome when it works. When it doesn't work, very frustrating. I have raved and raved for 365 days. For one year, I have loved this automatic litter box. About ready to have a freaking bonfire. Before we get into all that, I want to thank my video sponsor. Thank you ExpressVPN for sponsoring this video today. I have actually run out of shows to watch on Netflix. You know, ExpressVPN is great for encrypting all my data, keeping my privacy safe, making sure that hackers can't log in and steal my credit card information and all that. It's just something I haven't had to worry about in the last couple years because I've had ExpressVPN protecting all that. But I want to show you this because I have exhausted Netflix. I've literally run out of shows to watch that I haven't seen. Now, I want to show you something. I'm, I'm opening up Netflix right now. I'm going to do a quick little search here because there's something that I'm just dying to watch, right? So I'm going to type in Friends and hit return. And as you can see, Friends, the show, does not pop up. Just a bunch of other stuff that's close to Friends. Um, however, see, the funny thing about Netflix is it actually does restrict the shows that I can watch because I'm accessing them from the United States. Other countries are able to watch shows like Friends. For instance, we will open up the ExpressVPN app right there, okay? It says we are not connected yet. We're not in Seattle. I you can literally scroll through all these different countries, and because I know this ahead of time, we are going to scroll all the way down to Switzerland, right there. It's connecting, it turned green, which means we are connected to a Switzerland server. Now, while we're open on ExpressVPN, we're going to go back to Netflix. Okay, Netflix is reloading here. Watch this. I'm going to search. Same thing. Friends. And search. Look right there on the top, guys. Friends just pops up magically. Now I can literally watch new shows that I could not watch when I was connected without ExpressVPN. Hey, find out how you can get three months of ExpressVPN for free by visiting the link in the video description below or going to expressvpn.com slash nomadic. And thank you again, ExpressVPN, for sponsoring this video today. Now back to this litter box. Let me get you caught up. Yesterday was a completely wasted day here in Georgia. I've not had good luck in Georgia. This litter box has been perfect, okay? Ever since I got it, exactly one year to the day uh, in Illinois, ever since I got it, it has changed my life. No more scooping cat litter. Two cats, they go in, it spins, it cleans, it does everything automatically. Once a week, I pull out the bottom tray, dump it in the garbage, that's it. I cannot put a price on not having to scoop your cat's litter anymore. Seriously, it is the greatest thing ever, and I will never go back to scooping, except for the past 24 hours, I've been scooping these fuzzy butts poop out of an automatic litter box because I cannot get the darn thing to work. Um, and, and I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos. I, yesterday, spent all day. I did nothing else. I parked right here, and I completely cleaned and dismantled this thing three different times after watching YouTube videos. There are so many gadgets and gizmos and, and sensors and, and weight stuff and all this stuff that's it doesn't, doesn't do anything anymore. No matter what I do, I cannot get the thing to work again. It just flashes rapidly on the cycling light rapid, which means that there's a sensor issue. Or it's not a sensor issue, it's really a motor issue because it knows it's supposed to cycle, the motor can't engage, and it no longer spins this entire globe to clean it. And um, this was frustrating. I vented a little bit over on Patreon and kind of asked my friends over there, you know, what should I do? Give me some advice. I love this thing, but I'm not going back to scoop and litter. And they said, I said, get another one. I, there's some problems with this. We're going to get into this today. And, and I'm not I'm not bashing the company or anything. You'll see at the end of this. I'm really, really not. This is awesome in theory, but I don't think it's meant for RB life. I think it would be perfect and great in, in a controlled environment 
where it, it was stationary and you cleaned it regularly and it, and, it, and it didn't have road vibrations and bumping and all that crazy stuff that goes on with us on the road, I think it'd be great. However, there are some, some issues that I have with it. Specifically, the sensor, all of this is a sensor. So every time the cats jump here or here, all of this is putting pressure on it and telling it that it needs to go. And I think that even with the vibrations of the road causing problems and stuff like that, I have literally done every, I spent an entire day trying to get it to work. So believe me, I, I flat out give up. My options are go back to scooping litter out of a box for two cats or get another one. Now the robot three connect, which the, which this is, is still for sale. It's still $600. It's still available on Amazon. I can get it in seven days. However, I cannot get it sent to a locker. It has to be sent to your home. It's a it's a big, huge box. Not going to work. What, and what am I going to do for seven to nine days waiting for it? The other option is to get the new Litter Box 4, which is brand new, just been released, not even available on Amazon. It is not available anywhere except litterrobot.com and it's seven, five to seven business days after you place your order and again you have to have an address to send it to i'm in georgia i don't live here i have nowhere to send it to however just found out this morning that there is another option there is one company nationwide that sells the brand new litter box in store and it's called holiday Ho hollywood feed hollywood feed there are two of them in this state that have them in stock. The nearest is over four hour drive away. How much do I love my kitties? And how much do I appreciate not scooping? I'm gonna go grab it right now. So let me tidy up a few things. We'll get in the car. We're gonna be on day two of another wasted day to take care of my kitties because I love you guys so much and I'm gonna squeeze you and I'm gonna squeeze you and I'm gonna squeeze you. Cause I love you. Tear, tear, tear a bear. Man, just fix my litter problem, dad. I need a clean litter box. Okay, okay. So this is not something that I think I would normally do or make a habit of as far as uh, urban boondocking uh, in a public place, leaving my RV and all my possessions and my kitties alone and taking the car. Literally, I, I, I have no choice. It is four hours and 12 minutes to the nearest Hollywood feed store that sells the new litter box and has one in stock right now. I called and talked to them. Um, so I'm going to be on the road today in the car about eight and a half hours in total. However, you know, uh, I'm surrounded by other RVs here. So there's always going to be someone here in the parking lot looking at my RV. Plus at any time, I don't know if you'll be able to see this from that camera, but on my phone, I can literally watch live what's going on with all seven cameras. Yeah, so there's some faith involved, right? There's some trust involved, but we're gonna get this done because this this is how important this, th this really is to me, okay? Everything's gonna be okay. The RV alarm's on, my Apple Watch, my phone. I've got two backups to tell me if something happens and we are just gonna do some driving today and make the most of it, okay? Oh, we can listen to some Morgan Wallen on the big subs in the back. Oh, do I have enough room? Hopefully, that new litter box will fit right here. Hopefully. We'll see. Well then, here's something I did not see a whole lot of uh, in Florida this winter. But here in Georgia, yeah, it's moist. It is moist. That's fine, we're just driving. Who cares? Halfway there. By the way, as we continue to travel northwest here on the, on the channel, um, you know, again, this channel has changed a lot in 10 years, and I, I, I do get a lot of my subscribers telling me, you know, Eric, you should do this or do that. Why do you do this? I hate when you do this. Why don't you just only do this? And uh, it, it's crazy that a, a lot of you have, have a voice on my channel, and I appreciate that. But again, you know, I live my life for me. I, I don't let others dictate what I put on my channel or how I live my life, because this is my life after all, right? I'm not gonna do it the way you want it to be done, obviously. However, I hope that I can maybe inspire you to do things your own way and not listen to what everybody else says you're supposed to do. Just get in your RV and go live life the way you wanna live it. 
and don't let others put you in a direction or tell you you're supposed to do things a certain way. No, live life for yourself, be happy, do exactly what you want to do, and those who care will stay. Those who want you to do it their way and aren't happy, they'll leave, and then you're just back to good people in your channel. I've learned a lot in 10 years. Yeah, this rain, just a part of life, but man, I was spoiled rotten in Florida this winter. Ooh -ee. All right, well, it's my first time at a Hollywood feed store. It's right in front of us. I thought it was gonna be something like major, big, like a tractor supply, you know? The only people in the country that can sell these, well, they're authorized to sell the litter robots, but um, yeah, now, Additionally, you cannot buy the Litter Robot 4 in their store. They will not let you. They will not ship it to your home either. The only way to get it is to buy it in advance, which I did five hours ago, and then do curbside pickup. We can't even go in the store. I got a sign right in front of us. Curbside pickup. Call this number. Uh, I have a feeling I'm gonna have to take it out of the box as well. So I might just bring the box to like under that little awning there, cut it open and set it in here is kind of my plan. Thank you for calling Hollywood Feed in Crane Creek. This is Joseph. How can I help you? Hey, Joseph. I have a, a online curbside pickup to pick up for Jacobs. And uh, where are you parked? I'm in the blue smart car. All right. You gonna have room to sit this little bad boy up in there? I'm probably gonna have to open it out of the box and put it in here. Okay, uh, we can help you do that if you need, need to. Yep. Should I come in and grab it? Uh, do you live in the area? No, I'm from out of town. Mine, mine broke, and I drove four and a half hours to pick this up today. Oh my god. Yeah, I love it so much that I had to buy it, that I had to buy another one. Oh no, these things are fantastic, and it's really cool that, you know, we're, we're like, we actually like carry this store. You are the only people in the country that can get them, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I don't know. I don't. I don't know who they had on our legal team work that out, but I hope they got a, a paycheck out of it. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it had to come out of the box. It is the, supposed to be the same size as the three. Got two little compartments and uh, got a little bit of wiggle room here. I can see the mirror. All right, four and a half hours back to the kitties. Ah, Cracker Barrel. The rain has just stopped when I get back. Let's see. Oh, wow. I'm the only... Oh, there's one RV behind me. One Class C behind me. <laughs> Everybody else has left. What a trip, man. All right. Hey, hey, hey. Hi, guys. Are you excited? I fixed it. Let me move these boots. I fixed it. I got you guys a new poop box. How exciting is that when we get all excited about a new poop box? Oh, yeah! Well, all right, so this is the only place in the RV where I really have room to display them side by side. The new one on the sink, the old one on the little pull-out table here in the kitchen. And uh, yes, I am running the generator in the background uh, with the, the rain and clouds. I mean, we haven't gotten any solar today while I've been gone, so got back and my batteries were at 42%. So we gotta run the generator. That's why uh, solar is just not gonna be your answer everywhere. All right, first of all, the first main thing you're gonna notice, besides the fact that this one's black and the old one's white, is that the opening is so much bigger on the floor. A much bigger opening for cats. Not that either of my cats had any problem going in the three, but still, I like that. Um, secondly, this has no exterior moving parts on the new one. Where the old one, this whole globe moves within this, this one, when it rotates, only the inside moves, a lot like a dryer. This outer ring does not move like this one did. And I feel like that's gonna be a lot better in case a cat steps on the top or jumps up on the top or just anything that touches it. You know, you had these, let me look in here. There's like these little clips inside here, focus focus on the clips <laughs> okay all around it and they had to be completely level all the time all the way around the whole bin here now a lot like that dryer that I got at base camp only the inside moves and I feel like that's huge now the waste drawer is a lot smaller on the new one but they fixed it I can't do it one-handed they fixed it so that 
it'll drop more naturally in all of the bin. Where this one, don't know if I really want to show you the litter underneath. Hey, wait, is there any? There is. Okay, so the litter only drops right there. It never, ever goes over here. So this part right here fills up till it gets to the top. The sensor goes off and it won't do anything until you empty it. It doesn't even utilize this other space. So with the new one over here having a, a narrower base in here, but wider, it's supposed to distribute the used waste a little better. So there's the comparison between the two. That's the big two I can think of. Um, buttons. This one had the buttons on the side right here. This one here, it's all on the top. Right there are the buttons. So still easily, uh, still easy. <laughs> I can sit here and, and I can push the buttons, right? So let me swap out, put the new one down there in the corner, load the old one into the car. We're going to go find a dumpster and chuck it. There's nothing in there that I can reuse except the power cord seems to be exactly the same. So I'll keep the power cord of the three as a backup. All right. Um, well, I've got the new litter box in place and I, I have to first say, holy cow, it is so much cleaner than the white. This two-tone gray and black matches everything, all the upholstery in my RV, like perfectly. You got the gray dashboard, you got the gray back, you've got parts of black throughout here, and oh, it's just so much slicker and neater. It is so much better. Why is there a gap right there? Oh, okay. All right, well, it's plugged in. Next step, I'm gonna add some litter and uh, here is where things are going to drastically change. Now, you guys have been following me for a while know anytime something goes wrong or fails or breaks, I try to fix it better. But not only fix it better and make it stronger, I want to figure out what went wrong. In fact, what can I do to make sure that that doesn't happen again? So yesterday, besides all the YouTube videos I watched about cleaning it and trying to get the old one to work, I also found out that there are two major components, two major things that I can do to make sure that this litter box lasts longer. One, the main thing they say, don't buy cheap litter. And by cheap litter, they actually specifically say, don't go to Walmart and buy Tidy Cats litter. Do not use this brand in your litter robot. So that I'm going to be donating to the next cat shelter that I'm going to be seeing here in Georgia. Uh, I have gone back. I'm still using a clay based clumping litter, but it is a low tracking, low dust litter still available at Walmart. Cost about five dollars more than this. Of course, whiskers themselves say that you should buy their uh, specific litter, which is not available all around the country at every PetSmart and Walmart and Petco. So uh, the next best, best thing that I've heard on the forums is to go with Fresh Step. Clean Paw, this is uh, got for Breeze. It's for multi-cats. It is clay cl clumping and it is also low tracking. Very important because the forums say that when you use this cheap Tidy Cats stuff, that somehow the dust tracks inside the motors and cakes in places that cannot be cleaned externally. There's places where the dust goes that will affect the motor and the components of the litter box itself. So I am going to try to get the most of this. Of course, you guys know I'm going to let you know along the way how things are going. But from here on out, I will be using the Fresh Step Clean Paws low tracking litter available at Walmart and see how this goes. Let's fill it up and turn it on. All right, I have turned the generator off in here because I really want to get a good sound test. Another one of the main features of the new four is that it's super quiet. Where the three, I have to turn it off at night because the motor will literally wake me up. in the middle of the night when it's rotating. I have to turn it off, it's so loud. So this thing is supposed to be to the fact that you can't even hear it. I have loaded it up, tried not to overfill it in there because you don't want to overfill these things. I got a little on the side, it's plugged in. Let's turn it on for the first time here. Of course we need to connect the app, but it's good. You, are you kidding me right now? It is whisper quiet guys. 
It is making no noise right now as it does its very first rotation. Do you hear anything? This is not fake. This is not a voiceover. There is zero noise from the new motor. Again, none of this moves up here. None of this is affected. If Terra jumps down right now and steps on it, it will not pause it. It will not cycle. It will not make it cycle. So the other cool thing is the app. Although you've got the same buttons as the old three here, you can do everything. You can turn it off. Um, if I'm sitting here in the seat and Opie goes to poo and there's no pee, I can hit the cycle button and cycle the poop instantly. Now, you don't want to do that for the urine for cats because it needs time to clump with the clay. Otherwise, it'll fall apart. That's why it'll, the app will let you set it for, I think, increments of 3, 6, 9, 12, and 15 minutes after they use it. Uh, it'll go ahead and do that cycle. Or you can just set it to complete manual, which is also something I've considered to save the life of this and make it not go as much. Uh, maybe I could actually keep it on all night and let it cycle throughout the night, which will keep it fresher in here in the RV throughout the night. Or I can just turn it to manual, sit here, watch TV, and every time the kitties use it, if they go number two, hit a button. If they go number one, wait 12 to 15 minutes hit it i haven't decided yet but i will say i am very very happy with how quiet the new one is much much better and the black for me works a lot better most people like the white i just picked the white last time because it was what was available today the black was available and it looks really good right there so I'm going to get the app all figured up so that we can get back on the road here. The only other bummer part is when I took the seats out originally, it's got these bolts right here that stick up maybe an inch and a half. And that does prevent me from just lifting the tray back. I have to actually tilt the box up to get the tray back. I wish I knew somebody who could just cut those off for me. Wait, I do know somebody, my buddy Robert. In fact, if you're looking for some RV help, something as simple as cutting those bolts there to putting solar on your rig or swapping a fridge, anything in your RV, hit up my buddy Robert. King's Mobile RV Repair. I'll put his number here. Also in the video description, I'll put his email and phone number. You can text him there. If you're in the Kansas City area, 100 mile radius, unless you're going to pay for a lot of gas to get him to where you need to go, or you can come to Kansas City with your RV, hit him up and get some stuff done. I will continue to let you guys know how how this works, I'm excited to get back on the road. Opie, are you going to use the litter box first? Are you going to do it? Tara, are you going to use it first? I don't know, Dad. You picked new cat litter, and now I'm, now I'm all confused about life and stuff. Yeah. I think it'll be okay. Oh. Oh. Is Opie the first one? Tara, let Opie pee. He, he, he's going potties. Opie's going to christen in the new litter box. He's a good boy. Yeah, how's it working for you, Opie? You don't want to talk about it? It's like we're still getting some dust. Yeah, cover it for Dad. Can you cover? Thank you. What a good boy. We'll do the rest. That's good. Come on out. That's enough. No, you don't need to. It'll do it by itself. Tara, tell him. Tara, t you don't need to. It we'll take care of the rest. Just hop out. Opie, you're good. All right, you're getting, you're still getting dust everywhere. Come on out. You're not going number two also, are you? No, you're done. Good boy. Fast forward. Oh, Tara wants to check it out. All right, we're getting our very first rotate. There should be Opie P in there somewhere. It's, oh, there it is. <laughs> it's just P, relax guys. Yeah, all the normal litter goes down to the bottom, and all the hard, clumping clay litter, uh, number ones and number twos, go in the bag. And then what it'll do now is turn back around the other way, and that will seal the bottom compartment for all the smells. There it goes, back the other way. And then depending on, I don't know, how many kitties you have, like Opie and Tara, that's your pee, Opie, that's your, that's your pee. We'll see it come back around here. Hang on. There you see it turning back around and filling the bottom basin. Uh, again, it's going to go past the central point, which is right here, because the cat litter is obviously not level yet. So it goes past it a little bit. And then it stops. There's actually a little line. You can kind of see a little line in there. Now it's back to the line. It goes back the other way. It'll level out here for the next use so that Tara can use it. And then hopefully these lights up here will turn green, blue. 
and we're good to go. Awesome. What a good pee. You peed so good, Opie. Yeah, I'm gonna lose a bunch of subscribers on this video. Oh well, I love my kitties. Whoop! <laughs>